p possessive nouns. At Grammar Songs by Melissa. You have learned that a contraction is a special type of word in the English language. Two words are shortened to make one word, and a special punctuation mark called an apostrophe takes the place of the missing letter or letters. We are equals we're. But not all words with apostrophes are contractions. What? Huh? Apostrophes are also used in the English language to show possession. Possession? What's that? Let me explain. Possession is the state of having or owning something. That treasure belongs to me. A thing is a noun. We use apostrophes to show possessive nouns in the English language. The pirate's treasure. We add an apostrophe s to show possession. The treasure belongs to the pirate. We add apostrophe s to the end of people, places, or objects that are singular or only one to show ownership. Mimi's puppy. The puppy belongs to Mimi. The park's bench. The bench belongs to the park. The book's cover. The cover belongs to the book. When we speak, we don't hear the apostrophe in spoken language. Have you seen Jason's new car? But when we write, we need to include the apostrophe in our written language to communicate clearly. Jason's new car is red. I love my new car! The apostrophe tells the reader that the car belongs to Jason. Okay, may we practice? Sure! Let's practice adding an apostrophe S for a singular possessive noun. Then we can use each possessive noun in a short sentence. We have book and Emma. So which noun is showing ownership? Does the book own Emma or does Emma own the book? Hmm. Of course Emma owns the book. It is Emma's book. Emma possesses the book. The book belongs to Emma. Emma's book is exciting. Next we have bone and dog. So which noun is showing ownership? Does the bone own the dog or does the dog own the bone? Hmm. Of course the dog owns the bone. It is the dog's bone. The dog possesses the bone. The bone belongs to the dog. The dog's bone is yummy. Next we have bed and kitten. So which noun is showing ownership? Does the kitten own the bed or does the bed own the kitten? Hmm. Of course the kitten owns the bed. It is the kitten's bed. The kitten possesses the bed. The bed belongs to the kitten. The kitten's bed was soft. Now we have castle and flag. So which noun is showing ownership? Does the castle own the flag? Or does the flag own the castle? Hmm. Of course the flag belongs to the castle. It's the castle's flag. The castle possesses the flag. The flag belongs to the castle. The castle's flag is red. So we just add apostrophe S? Yes, when it's a singular noun. We add an apostrophe after the S to the end of people, places, or objects that are plural or more than one, since the S is usually already there. The kids' clubhouse. The clubhouse belongs to the kids. The building's windows. The windows belong to the buildings. The flower's vase. The vase belongs to the flowers. Let's practice placing the apostrophe after the S for some plural possessive nouns. Then we can use each plural possessive noun in a sentence. We have girls and books. Both of these are plural nouns, but which noun is showing ownership? Hmm, I'm pretty sure the books don't own the girls. The girls own the books. It's the girls' books. The girls' books are funny. Since there's more than one girl, the apostrophe is after the S. Exactly. Next we have project and students. But which noun is showing possession? The project or the students? Hmm. 
Of course, the students have ownership of the project. It's the student's project. The student's project was a success. And since there's more than one student, the apostrophe goes after the S. Next, we have carrots and rabbits, two plural nouns. So which is showing ownership? Do the carrots own the rabbits? Hmm. Of course, the rabbits own the carrots. It's the rabbits' carrots. The rabbits' carrots are delicious. And since there's more than one rabbit owning the carrots, the apostrophe comes after the S. Yes, exactly. So the apostrophe goes in front of the S if the person, place, or object doing the owning is singular or just one. And the apostrophe goes after the S if the person, place, or object doing the owning is plural, more than one. Yes, most of the time. There are exceptions, but we can learn about those in another video. When you read, noting where the author placed an apostrophe is important. For example, if the author writes, the boy's bedroom was clean, you would understand that the bedroom belongs to just one boy since the apostrophe comes before the S. On the other hand, if the author writes, the boy's bedroom was clean, you would understand that the bedroom belongs to more than one boy since the apostrophe comes after the S. And when you write, you have the responsibility of sending a clear message to your readers. For example, if you write, the clown's balloons were very colorful, the reader would understand that just one clown has or possesses balloons, since the apostrophe comes before the S. But if you write, the clown's balloons were very colorful, your reader would understand that the balloons belong to more than one clown, since the apostrophe comes after the S. So remember, apostrophes can be used for contractions or possessive nouns in the English language. Use apostrophe S for a singular noun to show one person or object owning something. And put an apostrophe after the S of regular plural nouns to show more than one person or object owning something. Hooray! You are a gold star champion of possessive nouns. Thank you for joining me at Grammar Songs by Melissa. Enjoy other related videos at GrammarSongs.com.